The first forecasting calculator, titled Estimates, will be the default calculator that will automatically show each time a graph is produced. It is found by scrolling down just above the analyst scorecard. This is presented as the default calculator on the basis that near-term analyst estimates are more likely to be accurate than farther out estimates. This graph will show two to three years of forward analyst estimates depending on two primary factors. First of all, each company's fiscal year end will determine whether two or three forward years of analyst estimates are included. Second, we will only include estimates when a credible number of analysts are reported, two or more. It is important to note the number of analysts are provided under the calculator for each estimate being made, as well as a snapshot of the analyst scorecard under the Fast Facts box. When there are no estimates available for a company, subscribers will be alerted and directed to utilize either the historical compound annual growth rate or the custom forecast calculator options, which will be described later. The second forecasting calculator option titled Normal Multiple will produce the same consensus estimates as the estimates graph. However, the primary valuation reference line will be based on the company's calculated historical normal PE ratios. This calculator option provides a drop-down window where you can choose normal PE ratios over different historical time frames. Therefore, you can utilize the historical normal PE ratios of your choice or choose the ones that you are most comfortable with. The third forecasting calculator option is titled three to five year trend line growth and provides a simple trend line estimate of earnings growth based on consensus three to five year long-term growth rate estimates of analysts reporting to S&P Capital IQ. The number of analysts providing estimates for this calculator is found in the fast facts. This calculator option is offered as a long-term earnings growth perspective if you are interested in a longer term view. The fourth forecasting calculator option is titled Historical Compound Annual Growth Rate, a forecasting option favored by many analysts and investors and generates earnings forecasts based on the company's historical growth rate achievements. This calculator also includes a drop-down window that allows you to select pre-calculated growth rates over various time frames. The fifth and final calculator option is titled Custom and allows you the ability to create your own forecast calculations. You can input and utilize any PE ratio of your choice to create the primary valuation reference line. Additionally, you can input your own earnings and dividend expectations for each specific future year and provide any growth rate that you consider appropriate. You can also combine the estimates and the three to five year trendline growth graphs to see the spliced view of near-term and long-term consensus estimates. As you've noticed by now, all of the calculators are populated with multiple lines split into quarters. All of these points are clickable and allow you to perform forecast calculations at the valuation it is representing. Simply click once to perform the calculation and click again to turn it off.